Hi, my name is Jess Lane and you are watching Math Tutorials. This tutorial is going to be on transformations. I'm gonna break this video up into two. So this video will be over translations and rotations. So translations and rotations. Um, so again, these are transformations. Let's just talk about um, what we do naming. So if I draw a square and I name it, I name it by its vertices, A, B, C, D. So this is square, A, B, C, D. When I do a transformation, I get what we call an image of the original object. So this is the original object. And how I would name the image is I would put the, these apostrophes by the letters. And we say that this is square, A, B, C, D prime. Okay, and you can say the word prime, A, B, C, D, prime. And this tells you that it's an image of the original, those little apostrophe marks right here. Um, so that's how you would name the image once you do the transformation. So let's talk about translations. So a translation is just a slide of an object, of a fixed object. We're not rotating it, we're not changing its direction, and we're not making it bigger or smaller. We're just literally moving it up, down, left, or right. That's all a translation is. And so, um, so for example, I'm gonna draw, I'm just gonna draw a little square here, or a rectangle. Oh, nope, it's a square. I did a three by three square. So I'm gonna draw a square there, and I am going to um, say that I wanna translate this two up, two up, and three left, okay? So what I do, two up and three left, means that I take each of the vertices, so each of these four vertices, and I will, I'm going to transfer them two up and three left. So I literally go, two up, one, two, and three left, one, two, three, and I draw that vertice. Okay, so I do this to every vertice, two up, three left. Um, now I did it with this one. Oh, let me name it. A, B, C, D. So this would be A prime, B prime. Um, D, two up, one, two, three over. So that's D prime, and then C, two up, three over. So that's C prime, they kind of overlap here. But we draw it, and we have a perfect image of this one. It just moved, this is my image, the blue one. It just moved two up and three to the left, and that's what you call a translation. That's all a translation is. Now, we have something called the translation rule. So in this case, two up um, represents what happened to the y value because the y value tells us up or down, right? Because the y axis, up or down. And two up means that we added two because two up is positive. And then for the x value, x is left or right because here's the x axis, we move three left. And left means subtraction. If we were moving right, it would mean addition. So you do x minus three. And this is what you call the translation rule. So it means that every x coordinate will be subtracted by three and every y coordinate will be subtracted by two. And we can test this out um, because I can find the coordinate. Let's say, let's find the coordinate of b, the original b. Um, the coordinate of b is negative two, negative two, okay? And then let's find the coordinate of B prime. So the image of B. That is one, two, three, four, five, negative five, and then zero. Okay, so the coordinate of B prime is negative five, zero. So I can see if this translation rule is correct. Is negative two minus three does that give me negative five? Because if I do the translation, I'm subtracting three from the x-coordinate. The x-coordinate's negative two. Negative two minus three is negative five, so that checks out. And then for y, the y-coordinate plus two, so the y-coordinate is negative two, and if I add two, does it become zero, which is the image? Negative two plus two is zero, so that one checks out too. 
Stay with me, let's do another one. Let's do another translation and I'll give you the translation rule and then we will um, we'll do it without drawing first and then we will draw and check our answer that way. So the translation rule here, so I'm gonna give you a translation rule. I'm gonna give you x plus one and y minus two. So let's just talk about this translation rule. X plus one and y minus two. X plus one means, remember, x is left and right, left and right. Um, so plus one would mean that I'm gonna to go to the right one, and I'll write that. So this means to the right one. And then y minus two, remember y is up and down. So minus two would mean that I would go down two. Okay, so that's what that translation rule is saying. So let's draw a triangle. I'm gonna draw a triangle here. And I'm gonna write the coordinates of this triangle and I'll name the triangle A, B, C. And so the coordinates for A are one, two, three, four, and one, one, two, three, four, five, six, so it's four, six. It means it goes over four, up six. The coordinates for B are um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then up two. And then the coordinates for C are one, two, one, two, two, two. Okay, so there's your coordinates for those points. Okay, instead of drawing this and going and do the vertices right one down two, we'll do the drawing to check it. Let's apply the rule, x plus one, y minus two. So let's take the, um, the coordinate four, six, and let's apply this translation rule. It means I'm adding to the x value, I'm adding one to the x coordinate and subtracting two from the y coordinate. So a prime, should be adding one to the x coordinate, four plus one is five, and subtracting two from the y coordinate, six minus two is four. So the new, um, the new coordinate for a, the image of a, should be five, four. Let's do b. Let me do another color. So b is six, two, and let's find b prime. So that means I add one, because add one to x, so six plus one is seven. And then I subtract two from the y, two minus two is zero. So b image becomes seven, zero. And then c, the original one is two, two. So apply that rule again, x plus one, y minus two. So two plus one is three, and then two minus two is zero, so three, zero. So now I can graph the images of these coordinates, a prime, b prime, c prime, and let's see if I, um, if it does it. So a is five, four, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, so five, four is that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, I'm just making sure, so that would be a prime. I'm not gonna write the coordinate because we know the coordinate right here. B is seven, zero, so that's five, six, seven, zero, so that's B prime. And then C is three, zero. One, two, three, zero. So that's C prime. So we have our, um, our triangle there. And let's just see if it went to the right one, down one. So A went to the right one, I mean down two. Right one, down two, checks out. C went to the right one, down two, checks out. B went to the right one, down two, checks out. So our drawing checks out, but we didn't even draw it. We knew the translation rule, so we did it like that. So you can do it either way. You can do it, you can draw it first, or you can find the coordinates first if you know um, the translation rule. And if it just says, just if it just says, hey, the rule is, four right, one down, you can write that rule, okay, in the actual reality. Four right means we added four to the x value, 
and so that means x plus four, and then one down means we subtracted one from the y value, so y minus one. So there you go, you wrote your translation rule. Okay, so if it tells you to write it. Okay, so that's translations. Thank you. Okay, um, now we're going to do, actually I'm gonna stop this video and just do it all differently. So that's translations.